Hello, my name is Tim Burridge. I just thought I'd share a uh, uh, something I learned uh, recently about um, Blender's bevel 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 mon uh, modifier. Um, so basically, I was just playing around with uh, bevels on a uh, a wheel structure, so like a a cylinder. Uh, the problem was that I had the uh, width of the cylinder shaded smooth, but when adding a bevel, each uh, width face um, edge, uh, each outer face of the cylinder, uh, not including the caps, was also beveled. Uh, so you ended up getting this kind of funny um, effect. I'll just show you it in uh, Blender by adding a uh, a cylinder and making the uh, side faces smooth. So uh, thankfully, Blender uh, and the bevel modifier has a uh, a way of combating this. See, if you look now, even though the uh, side outer side faces of the cylinder are um, meant to be shaded smooth, you can still see each face, uh, as well as the bevel on the top and bottom of the uh, cylinder. What is happening is, um, if we bump up the segments, the each every single face on the object on the uh, cylinder is being beveled, and uh, what we don't want to happen is uh, only the well. What we want to happen is only the uh, ring edge loop of the top and bottom cap of the cylinder, we want that to be beveled and nothing else. Otherwise we will have this funny kind of effect on the outer side of the cylinder. Uh, thankfully Blender, uh, the bevel mod uh, modifier, does have a, a limit method. So if you go over to the modifier here on the right and change the limit method from none to angles, what this does is uh, limits any face with an angle of uh, 30 degrees or more um, and it, it does not bevel that face so as you can see a uh, um, the angle between uh, the the angle between the um, cap and the side of the cylinder is being beveled which is what we want uh, but the side faces are not if I go into wireframe as you can see here each face is a single quad versus the edges uh, the cap leading to the uh, edges are beveled nicely in uh, two segments so it's kind of smoothed it out if I go back to no limiting method go into wireframe you can see now that each side face of the cylinder has been split up as uh, as each edge of the original quad has been beveled into um, into two different uh, quads so where this applies is um, say you are modeling a wheel interior rim or a, a tank uh not the track the uh wheel part of a tank um you can just apply a nice uh bevel modifier to increase the uh the quality of your model the uh appearance of your model and um still maintain a correct topology on the uh, broad faces of the object 
without having to worry about um, changing, without having to worry about either manually retopologizing the edge face or uh, the side faces. Uh, so it's basically just limiting the bevel to only the the seams, only the um, ring loop edges in the mesh and not the uh, quads on the side. Um, so I just thought I'd share that little tip with you. I'm sure some of you would already know it but uh, my previous method of um, beveling uh, faces on a cylinder was to just uh, see I'll duplicate the mesh and show you uh, was to just select only the edge loops and then just go control B bevel um, and do it that way the only problem with that is that it's a destructive edit um, the mesh is now edited that way uh, the benefit of using it as a modifier is that if I add more topology or mess around with the uh, mesh more the um, the bevels are added dynamically I don't have to then go through and re-edit the whole mesh selecting all the new edge loops and bevel beveling that as well as uh, the bevel controls uh, you can control the segments how many times uh, the edges are beveled and the width of the bevel which is uh, very useful um, when you're applying it to a whole object versus uh, just a, a small portion of it so yeah limit method angle you can also do weight uh, if you have weight painted the mesh or you can do vertex groups um, I don't really know what kind of scenario you would use weight painting or vertex grouping uh, in for uh, only beveling a certain area because in that kind of scenario you'd probably just select the mesh and bevel it uh, manually within edit mode um, but there's m there might be a, a scenario I am yet to encounter so yeah I hope that helps thanks